Hi Emily, this is Mike from Stagecoach Road Vintage Sewing Machine and this is your Pretty Bernina and um, this is the final test before we pack her up to ship her out to you and in this test we're going to go over the uh, basic operation in the machine as usual and so let's start by winding a bobbin the bobbin of course is in the bobbin case down here just like any other machine, you pull out the little tab and uh, pull the bobbin out. The bobbin winder is back here and it's got a swing out arm. Just in case you can't see it, there it all is. There's the spindle for winding and there's the swing out arm and this is the actuating lever. Uh, as on any other machine, you declutch the machine and a thread. Put your thread where? On the spool pin over here. Go. Let's see. Go around, all the way around the little t tension device on the swing out arm. Go all the way around counterclockwise and just follow the arrows that are marked on the top here. That'll take you to your bobbin. And, um, rather than, let's see. An empty bobbin that we can fill. Start your thread on the bobbin. Put several wraps to hold the uh, thread in place while it winds. And let's see. You're going to want the bobbin to come on with your thread going onto the bobbin across the top in a clockwise direction. It'll be obvious when you see the arrows on the uh, marked on the body of the machine. Push the actuating lever in and give it a little gas. And that's all we're going to wind for now, just for demonstration. In fact, I'm even going to I'll put it in your accessory kit for another spare. So, swing your arm back in, reclutch your machine, close the lid, and let's see. Uh, yeah, just like on any of the Japanese machines, you drop your bobbin into the bobbin case with the thread coming off the top in that direction. Go into the slot and the Tension spring. Put your bobbin in with the little finger pointing up. And we're good to go. To thread the machine, put your thread on the spool pin. There's a thread guide on the back that you uh, just lift your thread up from the bottom into it. Go across the top. And as you go across the top, you're actually putting your thread into the uh, uh, upper tension. Uh, go into the big thread guide at the bottom and down into your take-up lever. You go down to the thread guide at the top of your presser foot and through the eye of the needle from the front towards the back. I've been 
applying fiberglass resin all morning to my little fiberglass trailer uh, that I'm restoring. Uh, it's the one that I brought back uh, last season. I picked it up in Idaho and uh, it's going to be my commuting trailer. Go back and forth from Oregon to uh, Arizona. Uh, but it was in bad need of a paint job. Somebody rattle can painted it flat black with lots and lots and lots of drips and runs that I had to sand off. And the uh, door The whole inside of the door was ripped off. I'm not sure what happened. They must have uh, must have come open while they were driving or something. Uh, but I had to totally rebuild the door and uh, rebuild some uh, little extensions around the windows that were not properly installed. And all of that requ required some fiberglassing. Okay, just like on any other machine, hold your needle thread, turn the hand wheel towards you, one full revolution, to bring up your lower thread. There we go. Between the toes of the presser foot and towards the back. And that's about it. Uh, oh, well, I guess we should test as long as this is a test. So here's a couple layers of heavy duty denim. And uh, this is your feed drop here uh, for darning and machine embroidery, that sort of thing. I uh, want it to the left on the zigzag symbol. Uh, stitch length is here, and we're going to go about to um, this is uh, this little dial here is a uh, stitch pattern adjuster uh, and since this doesn't have built-in stitches I'm not really sure what it does I really don't okay but it, it'll be in your manual this is uh, your stitch width, of course, and from zero up to four. This down here is uh, if you want to leave your stitch at zero, and as you're sewing along, if you want to make some cool patterns, you can do that. And um, ah, okay. So this outer knob here is not your stitch width. Your stitch width is the dial behind it, which is also attached to this. Um, this is your needle home position, this uh, pointer knob. So you have right, middle, left. Uh, I'm going to leave it in the middle. And um, I forget what this does too. There's something you can do, pull it out, and it does something. I don't remember what that is right now. You can look it up in your manual, of course. Okay, so uh, stitch width, um, uh, needle home position. This is the adjustment for your uh, upper tension. And this is your light switch. Okay, here we go. What a sweet machine. Let's just sew right down that seam for a ways. Uh -huh. Ran out 
the bluer thread. Oh, lower thread broke for some reason. So right back over that seam again, make a good measure, I'm going to add a little more stitch length. We're actually sewing over two seams, this one and this one. thick denim we just sewed through. So that's about it. Uh, there's your Benina. I'll get her packed up and uh, get her to you. And your featherweight is coming along. Uh, had a minor disaster. Let me show you real quick. Today when I went to it's been, the paint's been curing for a long time. I'm waiting until the paint got a little bit harder to uh, do any more work on it. Uh, but somehow something got on the bed here and the paint was bubbled up in little spots across here. I'm going to see if I can fix it up without taking it apart and repainting it. Uh, but if that's what it comes to, uh, I will do that. But, yeah, that's just it. I'll deal with it whatever way it takes to make her look good. Uh, uh, so that's about it, Emily. I really, really appreciate all the uh, cool machines that you've sent to us for restoration and uh, the machines that you bought from us. Uh, you're like, you're our patron. You're, uh, you're a blessing to us here. So, that's about it. Uh, hope you had a great summer. And uh, I'm going to be heading south for the winter here as soon as my uh, little trailer is done. And uh, uh, I want to get the uh, featherweight done before then so I can get her off to you. So, that's it. Oh, good day. <laughs>